All right, this is how to get any of the Steam Point Shop items for free. So first, you're just going to open up Steam, uh, either on your application or on your browser. We are going to be heading to the browser after, so if you know how to open it there, go ahead. Otherwise, just head up to the store, go down to Point Shop, click on that. Once the page loads here, you're just going to right-click anywhere and copy page URL. Next, you're going to come over and open your browser and paste it into your search bar and then just press enter and it'll take you straight to the web version of the Steam Point Shop. Once you have it opened up in your browser, you can pretty much take a look for anything that you're wanting that's available. It works with every single profile item available in all the different categories over here on the left. And once you find an item that you like, you can just go and right click on it and open in new tab and that'll give you the full item by itself this works with all the avatars and backgrounds everything uh, it even works with animated things um, the backgrounds that are animated you just go and open video in new tab and that'll open up here and play like that and then you can just save video as and it will automatically save as a WebM format, but you can easily convert that through any online converter. The only items that don't save with their animation are the animated stickers. Those save as regular images, but otherwise any other animated or static item saves just as it is. As most people know, the only way to get animated avatars is to buy them from the point shop. Um, this way lets you get the images and the GIFs for free, but it doesn't get around the rules of not being allowed to upload animated avatars on Steam without buying them from the point shop. It just gives you the item for free without having to buy it. And I don't recommend using this in any commercial stuff. Uh, obviously going and copying any of Steam's point shop items and then using them for your own commercial or monetized things uh, without attributing it to the proper sources and even then after you have attributed it to the proper sources is probably copyright infringement so use at your own risk this is simply just a guide on how to get the resources for free if you found this video helpful please leave a like or a comment letting me know uh, if you have any questions, you can also leave those in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.